name is Al Sahim and you are Warith Al Ghul. My name is Oliver Queen. In season 3's finale of Arrow, after revealing his true plan to thwart Raz's intentions, Oliver and the team were in a race against time to stop Raz from unleashing the Alpha Omega virus. Would Oliver be able to stop Raz and could the team finally halt the League of Assassins? Or would the same fate and outcome of the mid-season finale fall upon the team once more? Welcome to the top 5 moments of the episode, followed by the overall verdict. As Oliver reunites with the rest of the team, it's safe to say that there were plenty of questions that Oliver was needing to answer for. In particular, if his plan was to destroy the plane, killing Raz and destroying the virus, what was to happen to him? The plan was to kill Raz and destroy the virus. It didn't work. How did you expect to survive the plane crash? You didn't. As Raz is bringing Oliver back to Starling City, the plane they are travelling on suddenly begins to falter. It had been tampered with, and it was then that Oliver decided it was time for Raz to finally learn his true intentions. Your name is Al Sahim and you are Warith Al Ghul. My name is Oliver Queen. Oliver Queen is dead. That's why Roz hasn't released the virus. He wants to use it to kill Damien Dark. This was never just about my ascension. Roz wants to take out his nemesis. After finding out that Damien Dark was currently in Starling City, all was made crystal clear, as Roz's hidden agenda for destroying Starling City was unveiled. Unlike you, Oliver Queen, I'm a man of my word. And I swore that you would see your city perish. You either ascend to race as I have designed, or you will die. And the last thing you will ever see is your beloved city succumbing to disease and death. As Oliver Queen and Raz al Ghul readied themselves to square off one more time, Oliver would take up Felicity's advice before he fought the demon once more. Would the same outcome of the battle befall our hero just like last time? Or would he finally be able to defeat the demon's head? I knew I chose well with you, boy. As we agreed. We've come a long way, you and I. And I'm glad we got to work together to trust as we did. After Raz was defeated, Oliver didn't want the mantle that he was tasked with, so he decided to give it to a much more fitting suitor. You are welcome to try. Until then, kneel before Ra's al Ghul. My overall verdict for this week's episode of Arrow is a 7 out of 10. If we take a look back at the season as a whole, yeah, it may not have been as strong as season 1 and season 2 was the best by far, but overall, Arrow season 3 was still a decent season in general. Characterisation and identity were some of the main focal points throughout. We lost Sarah early on, which paved the way for Laurel to become the Black Canary. Roy became Arsenal, and just then in the finale, Thea was officially crowned Speedy. The Atom was introduced, and don't forget that the Arrow and Flash worlds have linked together, which opened up an endless line of possibilities. Let's face it, this season had practically the impossible job of trying to beat Season 2, which was just sheer quality throughout, especially towards the end. 
I mean, Slade had a prominent role throughout Season 1 and 2, so he had a lot longer to build up to that final showdown. That wasn't to say that Ra's al Ghul wasn't a great villain, he was. I personally thought Matt Nabel was fantastic as a casting choice, as he brought a great presence of authority to the role. It's just maybe that the final conflict should have arrived a few episodes sooner, some might think, as I can understand if some viewers thought that the final few episodes were a tad rushed. Don't get me wrong, they were still great, it just may have made a little more sense if the League of Assassins conflict was stretched out a little longer, as the proper meaty part of the League of Assassins conflict only really appeared when Raz was fully introduced at around about the midway point of the season. Now onto the episode itself. Oliver finally stood up to Raz in the face of his plan as he intended and tampered with the plane, intending to bring it down with everyone on it. But as they do, things didn't exactly go to plan, which then led to Raz being the one plotting where to unleash the Alpha Omega virus. Let's be honest, when Raz suddenly ordered Oliver to destroy Starling City in the first place, it did come a little bit out of the blue. So understandably, I was very happy to hear the reveal that Raz also wanted to take out his nemesis Damien Dark, who was currently residing in Starling City, and he was using Oliver's ascension to cover his agenda. It's pretty clear that Hive and Damien Dark are going to be a big part of Season 4. Whether or not he's going to be the big bad is anyone's guess at the moment but the storylines have been put in motion, so that could very, very much be the case. So after just about landing the plane, Oliver and Nyssa found their way back to the rest of Team Arrow, as they devised a way to neutralise the virus from spreading. As the team worked on stopping the virus, Oliver went somewhere else. He's been taunted in his nightmares ever since the fall that he can't beat Ra's al Ghul. So when Ra's offered him the opportunity to erase those thoughts, the temptation was too much to resist. He knew he had to face the demon's head once more. And how fitting was it that Raz would accept either outcome as a victory in his eyes? And the outcome? Ended up being the exact reverse of the mid-season finale. Oliver's ascension didn't last long in truth. He decided to pass the mantle to a much more fitting suitor. Malcolm was chosen by Oliver to ascend to the demon's head. It removes him out of the present story, whilst also giving the show the opportunity to bring him back at their behest. Who knows? Whilst taking the mantle of the demon's head, maybe Malcolm has inherited the Damien Dark problem as well. I was happy that Diggle and Oliver were able to mend at least some of their many cracked holes in their friendship. It'll take time, sure, but I hope in the future the pair can go back to being how they used to be, before the League of Assassins even came along. Now we may have seen Oliver getting a happy ending for now as he rode off into the sunset with Felicity, but we all know that moment won't last forever. Our mass crusader will return to Starling City, and I'm sure that plenty of criminals will be awaiting him when he does. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next review. Until then, kneel before Rachel Gould.